I'm making some tail lights worth over $1,000 using this $29 sequencer, a bunch of six cent resistors, and a little bit of time, and I'm gonna tell you all about it right now. Super excited right now, I made this tail light do sequential turn signals, maximum brightness, awesome factory modes, parking light, brake light, turn signal, and I'm controlling with a remote even though that's not how it would normally work, but it costs 30 bucks in parts to make that light. Super excited about it. I'm just gonna dive right in and try to do all of this in one take with you right now so you can kind of see what these lights are doing and some of the cool modes we have. And then I'm gonna talk about the parts that I used, everything else, this was super cheap and it only took me about two hours to do the modifications on this board. So that is a cool parking light function in the future is gonna have a cool little opening animation. Right now, it's just super simple. You got the side bulb right here. Brake lights, you've got multiple different things that you can choose from for an F1 flash. I might even be able to show a couple different options right now. So that should be it. Oh yeah, I think it's just the difference between being F1 or not. And you can see that no longer does a cool blink. And then if I switch that little dial back, well, maybe this one does something cool. These little switches that I have on the back of this thing. Now it's doing a pulse. You tell me in the comments, do you think it'd be weird if you stepped on the brakes and it did that? And it just started like, what do you think the person behind you would be thinking? I don't know. Not sure about that animation, but I do like the fact that we can easily have an F1 triple flash so that if you got a dope car and you're braking, you let those people behind you know, hey, look up, bro, get off your phone. All right, and then the only thing that really matters here is we've got this awesome sequential turn signal and we have all sorts of different modes. Literally while it's going right now, I'm just gonna pan through a couple different ones that we have. Check this one out. Pew, pew, pew. There's so many cool different things that you can do, but the fact that we've just got our factory circuit board in there that's doing that, I'm gonna show you exactly what that circuit board looks like right now, so you know what you can do as well. And also, because we've got turn signal on here, now we've got super bright reverse light. So this is exciting for me because with almost no money spent, you're able to do some really expensive kind of work. That light, that's gonna be part of a $1,000 tail light set. A $1,000 modification, meaning I have some stock lights, I cut them open, I don't paint them, I don't do anything crazy. I put some cool LED bulbs in there, I modify the circuit board that I'm gonna tell you about right now, put them back together, thousand bucks. It's pretty dope. Actually, it's a $29 part in a handful of six cent resistors. So this is the factory circuit board. And if we look, we can see not only the LEDs, but they're like crazy LEDs. They have six little legs on them. And then they have all these little perforations in the board that allow it to breathe to get extra hot. So this thing's capable of getting crazy bright. If you change this out with an aftermarket thing, it's not gonna be as bright. What I did this morning, I took this thing apart and then I removed a bunch of the resistors. I drilled holes, I ran wires. I did a lot of crazy work that I don't suggest most people do unless you're willing to fully commit to the, the process and the project and you know what you're doing when it comes to tracing electronics, being able to follow what does what on here. But in about two hours, start to finish for my first time ever modifying this board, I came up with that little thing that we had back there. Like I said, not for everybody, uh, this might not be something that you're into. For me personally, I cut these lights open so I could do some really cool lights for my buddies at Throttle. I showed them and they were pumped about it because it's the boards that they already have in their taillights. It's the lights that they already have, they're just gonna get way cooler. So I'm gonna finish modifying these, but take them down to San Diego, install them in one day, meaning they're gonna be black, they're gonna be sequential, and we're gonna get to do all of the modifications, cutting open the taillights and resealing them in the same session and we'll have plug and play sequential tail lights on the WRX. It's gonna be awesome. Whew, I need to catch my breath. I wanted to film that. I wanted to share it because I'm excited. I wanna know what you think about it. Let me know in the comments. Can't leave out the Corso Motion Sequencer. That's kind of the main brains behind the operation and some 160 ohm resistors. That's it. That was cool. If you wanna see the video of where I chopped open this tail light, click right there. And if you wanna learn more about that Corso Motion sequencer, click right there. Subscribe to the channel, later.